Okay, uh, let's get started. It's 11 o'clock. Uh, and uh, I want to wish you a very good morning. Hi, Wiswan. And for those of you who are here and listening to the recording, you know, you're here because you want to change for the better. And it always starts with what you think about. Dr. Joe Dispenser says, thoughts lead to choices which lead to action or behavior, which then create experiences, which produce emotions, which affect our thoughts again. And a person, he says, has 60,000 60, to 70,000 thoughts in one day. 90% of these thoughts are the same as the thoughts you had the day before. So the same thoughts will always lead to the same choices, and the same choices will always lead to the same behaviors. The same behaviors create the same experiences. The same experiences will then produce the same emotions. So one way to have new thoughts is to meditate on new words. And we have been studying this book called Aspire, Discovering Your Purpose Through the Power of Works by Kevin Hall. This book contains 11 words, and Kevin shows us how these words will become touchstones. In other words, standards in your personal development and in business, and how you can use these words as building blocks for success and what he calls inner peace. So today we are at the 11th word. Okay, we are at the 11th and the last word, which is integrity and i want to um wish at this time good morning especially to sam who is up at 7 a.m in oman listening to this okay so today's word is integrity kevin hall says the popular modern definition of integrity is one of being honest and having strong moral conviction but its roots go much deeper First of all, integrity comes from the Latin word integer, integer, okay, integer, which is math refers to a whole number. Integrity of one's word means a word is whole and complete. Being whole and complete with our word entails living 100% of our word, 100% of the time. In other words, our word is our bond. We can be bound by our words. This is the Asia works leadership distinction. I honor my word with action. I honor my word with action. Kevin continues to say that integrity is a revered quality that brings extraordinary worth and value to one's life. One of the highest compliments one can be paid is to be called a person of complete integrity. You know, in old Italy, unscrupulous sculptors would hide flaws in their work by filling them with wax, thus presenting their sculptures to be actually what they were not, not perfect. It was only a matter of time until the wax would melt or then crumble away, revealing the flaw in both the work and the artist. So authentic artisans began identifying their artwork as genuine by stamping each piece with the Latin words Sina Kera. Okay, Sina Kera. Spelled S I N E C E R A. Sina Kera. Sina meant without, and Kera con connotates wax. So a sincere sculpture was one made without wax. That's how we get the word sincerity. Okay, sincere. Sina Kera. William Shakespeare knew a thing or two about putting meaningful words together. He once said, This above all. To thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man. So you be true to yourself first, and then you can't be false to any man. Integrity means a life of wholeness. Kevin Hall also says, no shortcuts. Okay, nature does not take shortcuts. It does not skip seasons. It does not provide instant results. We have to plant before we can harvest. 
as Boon King has been teaching us. Actually, we talk about plant and harvest. There's a lot that's involved in between the planting and the harvest. Definitely not a shortcut. So integrity is a combination of time, effort, consistency, and purpose. Integrity also involves teamwork. A life of integrity means taking in, accepting, embracing the help, psychological support, advice of other people. Like an integrated circuit, you know, it combines all the necessary components into one. That's what an integrated circuit is. The favorite speaking, the favorite saying, my favorite saying that speaks of this is, it takes a village to raise a child. Okay, it takes a village to raise a child. And, you know, that that concept uh, we like because it relates to our new skin force for good initiative, Nourish the Children. Right. And so Nourish the Children is an example of integrity where together we can do so much. Now, coincidentally, in his book, Kevin shares about how his friend, uh, Billy, set out on a mission to end childhood hunger in America and around the world. And he connected other fellow restauranters to form this organization called Share Our Strength, which in 2009, when the book was written, they had already served more than 40 million meals to hungry children. Okay, we identify with that. No coincidence we are reading this book, okay, because we are so much involved with Nourish the Children. Kevin Hall talks about creating an integral team consisting of key pathfinders. Remember, he used the word pathfinder. That was the second word we used. Key pathfinders, leaders with talents, strengths, and experience that make up for our weaknesses and inexperience. That's what an integral team is about. So creating an integral team means surrounding ourselves with people who are growing, improving, learning, and making a difference. And, you know, when I share this, we have got real examples here. I, I mentioned Sam. I mean, he's up early, 7 a.m. in the morning. You know, he leads a team of people. He's an advisor, but he himself is here to, to grow, to improve, to learn. And I know he's making a difference out there. And Jim Rohn, remember, said, we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. Now, today, physically, we don't have to be with these people, but, you know, we can have access to the tapes you know, to the messages which are so freely available now, okay, in this information, uh, what we call past the information age. In Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of <clears throat> Highly Effective People, an integral team is really habit six, synergy, isn't it? Synergy, and synergy means that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. We are really more together. So, those are the reflections in Kevin Hall, but I want to share some of my further reflections on integrity. I think integrity is consistency. It's when you, you cut the surface, what's beneath is the same. What do we say? What you see is what you get. Okay, What you see is what you get. <clears throat> and this happens when you have got core values. Values at your very core that are deep inside, that eventually seep through you or rise up from beneath the ground. Okay. It's not a wolf in sheep's skin. Okay. It's not a fake Facebook profile. You know, I have a friend, Terence Squack. Uh, he was in my leadership program in Asia Works. He constantly has people copying his photo for their fake Facebook accounts. Now, you say, I'll never do that. But what's the difference between copying someone's identity and photo on Facebook and masquerading as a different person, different lifestyle for the sake of impressing others? Isn't a touched up photo being two-faced? Because when you Google lack of the opposite of integrity is about someone who's two-faced, okay, can't be trusted. So work on developing your core values, who you really are. Now, take your pin titles in your business, okay? Our, our rank in our business. I say be a team elite before you get the official pin title. Be a team elite when you're still a brand rep. Because this attitude puts be, do, have in the correct order, okay? 
before you have the title team elite, work on being like a team elite and doing the things that a team elite does. Then you will have the promotion to team elite. So the power comes from the being. Okay, be first, do, and then you will have. And if you don't have it, it doesn't really matter because you will have impacted yourself so much by becoming the best person that you can be. And you will have impacted so many other people, which really is what it's all about. So integrity, integrity begins in the mind before it's manifests in the flesh. I feel that integrity is also about having excellence in all the key areas of life, having a what I call a balanced life. So Motivational Monday is part of a series of daily doses where on Wednesday, we have Holistic Wednesday, which focuses on the importance of wholeness, which is living a balanced life. You know that a balanced wheel moves faster, wears more evenly, it's much more comfortable and lasts a lot longer. So, you know, integrity, if you want to be whole, complete, it's about having a balanced life. And integrity, of course, results in trust. The word sell comes from the old English word sellen, S-E-L-L-A-N, which means to give. So the word sell actually means to give. So don't you see that trust is vital for someone to feel that you are actually giving and not taking? And then you're actually giving value. Last week we saw when there is trust, people will ask, what's your recommendation? The customer puts the burden of making the best decision on your shoulders. That is the way uh, it should be. So if your desire, deepest desire is to be in contribution, then integrity is the word for your life. I will leave you with a final thought today. That integrity is walking the talk. Okay, integrity is walking the thought. Think about it this week. Because next week, uh, when I wrap up all the 11 words we have studied, I will explore this statement, integrity is walking the talk. So thank you everyone for um, joining me in the last uh, 12 weeks on this wonderful book, Aspire by Kevin Hall.